Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the discussion of the quick solutions of the All India Cash Test Series Medical 2020. This test is for the RM batch and this is test number 3 specifically code ENF. This particular test was conducted on 15th of December 2019. Dear students, let us proceed to the first question of the test. Question number 1 says, the masses and the radii of the earth and moon are M1, R1 and M2, R2 respectively. Their centers are at a distance d apart. The minimum speed with which a body of mass M should be projected from a point midway between the two centers so as to escape to infinity will be. Dear students, let us draw a diagram to visualize this problem. In the question, there is earth and moon. The radius of earth is r1 and the radius of moon has been given to be equal to r2. The mass of earth is m1 and the mass of moon has been given to be equal to m2. It is given that the centers of these two bodies are at a distance d apart. Now dear students, at the midpoint or the line joining these centers, a mass m is to be kept and we have to project this mass so as to escape it to infinity. Dear students, at infinity, the energy of the mass m would be zero if we are projecting it with the escape speed. Using the principle of conservation of mechanical energy, the net energy at the time of launching should also be equal to zero. Dear students, if we are projecting it with the speed v, we can write the kinetic energy to be equal to half mv square. The gravitational potential energies can be written to be equal to minus g m1 small m by d by 2 minus g m2 small m by d by 2. This would be equal to 0. On solving this expression, we get a value of v to be equal to 2 under root g m1 plus m2 divided by d. Dear students, therefore the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 3. Now dear students, let us proceed to the next question of the test, which is question number 2. Question number 2 says, a satellite is revolving around a planet of mass capital M in an elliptical orbit of semi-major axis A. The orbital speed of the satellite when it is at a distance 2A by 3 from the planet will be. We have to consider that planet is at one focus of the orbit. Dear students, in case of elliptical orbits, the net energy can be written to be equal to minus g small m into capital M divided by 2a, where a is the semi-major axis and small m is the mass of the satellite. Now, dear students, when the satellite is at a distance of 2a by 3 from the planets, its gravitational potential energy can be written to be equal to g small m into capital M divided by 2a by 3. Let its speed be equal to half mv square. That is, v is the speed and half mv square is the kinetic energy. This should be equal to the net energy of the satellite in the orbit. On rearranging the terms and solving this expression, we get v to be equal to under root of 2g capital M by a. Therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now, let us proceed to the question number 3. Question number 3 says, choose the incorrect statement among the followings. First, force of gravitation follows Newton's third law of motion. Dear students, option number 1 is a correct statement. And since we have to mark the incorrect statement among the following, therefore, option number 1 cannot be our answer. Dear student, 
ऑप्शन नंबर टू से लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन कैन नॉट एक्सप्लेन वाई ग्रेविटी एग्जिस्ट डियर स्टूडेंट लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन डस टेल एस दैट वॉट इज दोर्स बिटवीन टू पॉइंट मासिस बट हाउ एवर द रीजन फॉर दिस फोर्स कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्लेन यूजिंग द लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन एंड हेंस ऑप्शन नंबर टू इज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एंड देयर फॉर इट कैन नॉट बी आर आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री से इज द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज अ सेंट्रल फोर्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज इंडीड अ सेंट्रल फोर्स एंड हेंस ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री ऑल्सो हैज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एंड देयर फोर इट कैन नॉट बी आर आंसर इज वेल लेट अस मूव टू ऑप्शन नंबर फोर ऑप्शन नंबर फोर से इज फॉर लार्ज डिस्टेंसेज ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स बिकम्स रिपल्सिव डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज एन इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एज द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज ऑलवेज अट्रैक्टिव इन नेचर एंड इट डज नॉट बिकम रिपल्सिव देर फोर सिंस ऑप्शन नंबर फोर मैंशन एन इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन and therefore dear students option number 4 is the correct answer now dear students let us proceed to the question number 4 question number 4 is based on the kepler's laws of motion it says that in a planetary motion the aerial velocity of a position vector of planet depends on angular velocity omega and the distance of planet from the sun that is r the correct relation for aerial velocity will be so four options have been given to us dear students as per kepler's law the aerial velocity remains constant this aerial velocity has a value equal to l by 2m where l is the angular momentum of the planet about the focus of the orbit and m is the mass of the planet dear student here angular momentum can be written to be equal to i omega where i is the moment of inertia and the moment of inertia can be written to be equal to mr square so the final expression becomes that da by dt is equal to half omega r square and hence dear student we can say that da by dt is proportional to omega r square which makes the option number 1 of this question as the correct answer Now, dear students, let us proceed to the question number five. Question number five says that two bodies of masses m1 and m2 are separated by a certain distance. If f12 vector is the force on m1 due to m2, and f21 vector is force on m2 due to m1, then which of the following is correct? Dear students, the force of gravitation follows the Newton's third law of motion. That is. the force applied by m1 on m2 will be equal and opposite to the force applied by m2 on m1 which means that the vectorial addition of these two forces would be equal to zero this is because they are aligned in direction opposite to each other and they have equal magnitudes therefore dear students this fairly simple question has option number 4 correct answer now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 